perfect. start working on the Z. You guys have heard things about it, maybe seen it a couple of times, but now we're actually going to do something with it. And it has been sitting in here for a long time in it, but it's filthy, it needs to be cleaned, and it is a uh, sad state of affairs. You ready to do this, Reed? Yeah. I'm going to uh, send it your way. Can you pull it up so I get the wood up? Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright. Ready? fashion way from here I think. You're good. Oh shit 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 shit. More about my toes. Yeah I, well that was <laughs> shitting for everything. I didn't know how far it was gonna go. Alright uh yeah don't really need it now we're past that point. <laughs> Alright so I'm not a hundred percent on how clear we're gonna be once we Get over this little lip here. Oh. Sounds like just barely. All right. Crap, I did it again. All right, go ahead and hop in if you can. She rolls pretty easy, I can roll her by myself. Yeah, he's got a drum set. Alright, that way. We're going to nose it in, so we're going to want to turn as hard as possible. Watch the wall, that we make sure we don't hit the wall. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Damn it, I lost all my momentum. We go back here. Alright. Don't hit the bike. All right, crank it the other way. My God, this thing looks terrible. brakes okay back that way all right go ahead and uh, put the e-brake on for now come on out god she is in bad shape so we've got some serious rust. God, we had some soot in the intake there at some point. So yeah, she's been neglected a little bit. Yeah. But we're gonna pull her out, clean her up. This fender got messed up at some point, so 
Gonna need to repaint the fender and fix it. That fender over there is pushed back into the door, so we'll have to fix that. Front bumper's tweaked. I don't know if we're gonna fix that or not. Cause it's got the clear bra on it. And then uh, the interior got douched down with oil. Which is super awesome. The hatch was up and we had a car up on the lift and he fired it up and it spit oil out all over the interior. So there's oil specs all up in there. Can't open the trunk right now because it requires battery power. So. But that's her. I should really wash it off before we put it in, I think. I think we should finish the garage. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm just saying, before I put her up on the lift, I should probably wash it off. Can you climb through the, can you go through the seat to get to the trunk? No. No, that requires uh, <clears throat> battery power, which is not that big of a deal. God, it's got crap everywhere. Yeah, she's in rough shape. But it's all fixable, and it will be fixed. We're going to tear the whole front end off the car. We're going to pull the motor. We're going to use this motor to mock up in the Subaru over there. Once we get done cleaning this disaster. And then, uh, yeah. That'll be what we're going to do. Oh, we got a new radiator for it, too. That's what this bad boy right here is. Nice new all-aluminum radiator. And then we're going to do some work to make that work better which is I think it's a double thickness this is a single as you can see on my hands very tiny so we're putting a double in there should help us out quite a bit and then I want to do some work with the way this intake runs I don't know what I'm doing yet there but something with that the next morning and we got the Z in yesterday and there was a bit of a disaster and it pretty much ended my day I was sick to my stomach couldn't sleep last night I just it was real bad and uh, I so didn't want to talk about it so I just straight up ended the day but when we were 
when we were moving the car in, the it was coming at an angle. We had to push it in. The door had to get open so that we could turn the wheel and get it in. And the door got opened into the garage door, oh, the brick of the garage door, which I don't know if you can really see it because this angle is kind of crappy. It dented the body line and messed up the paint in like three or four places. There's a lot of money into the paint on this car and it was a show car for the longest time. So a, wow, the paint is just so messed up on this car. It's sickening. And so, yeah, that was the end of my day. Um, so, but we did get it in all the way. We did get it up on the lift, which then shows off a myriad of issues. We've got tons of issues. It's got an oil leak from something over here. You can see it's leaked a puddle already since it being in last night. The headers are completely rusted. And, I mean, rusted bad. Like, real bad. Where's the... Let's get some light on the subject. What do you guys can actually see? So the headers are rusted, the ceramic coat has come off of everything. We've got a pretty gnarly leak going. Which is not good because it was a completely rebuilt motor, so it shouldn't be leaking. There's rust on everything. The cross member is rusted. The exhaust is rusted. Hell, even this freaking the braided line here is rusted which it shouldn't be rusting but it is so the fuel lines and everything you're going to need to be something done to because that's good and terrible uh this cross member is completely rusted and apparently he got hit by something at some point because that is it's terrible so i'll be pulling that off and trying to fix that the exhaust anywhere that's not the stainless or where they didn't do a great job, that's all rusted. And uh, yeah, it's it's very rusty in a lot of places. So I don't, you know, the engine's not any better up inside. So we're going to be yanking the engine and uh, <laughs> going and doing a lot of rust prevention and fixing things. I'm not too terribly stoked about that, but. It is what it is at this point. Been thinking all night of what we are going to do about this, and uh, and there's nothing to it but to do it. I'm pretty sure. As you can see, the garage is well, pretty much clean. You can actually see the floor. You can actually walk around in here. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed this, but there was a sh there's a shelf here, or you know, a countertop. I forgot it was there too. And then, like I said, this isn't the best either, but it's the cleanest I think you guys have ever seen it. So, so demo it's so demo uh, demoralizing when it, when when it got hurt. I just oh man, it was like a gut punch. <laughs> we still had to move it in and put it up on the lift, and trying not to freak out on the person who did it. I mean, he'd been helping me all day, and then that, and he felt so bad I could see it on his face. But it's what do you get? What do you? I mean, I could have yelled and screamed and freaked out, which is normally my style. But I think I was so mad and so gut punched by it, I just couldn't. And it was the right decision not to, because I mean, what was it going to do? Yelling at him wasn't going to fix anything. Doesn't make it any better. It's just good and terrible. So anyhow, yeah, that's where we're at. See, that was a hard edit video to edit. I've had that car since 2005. It's a 03 350Z. I've had it for 13 years now, um, which is a crazy bit of time. And when it happened, it was pretty terrible, but I think I handled it all right, and we'll get it fixed one of these days. But in the meantime, we're gonna get it in, get the motor pulled out like I was talking about, and get it uh, hopefully on the road to repair. I don't know. I don't know, I'm up in the air with it right now. I don't know where I want to go with it. I don't know if I want to get it going or focus more on the Subaru or what I'm going to do there. But we'll have another couple episodes with uh, some stuff going on with that car. And then we'll probably be back on the Subaru. 
and we'll get back to it at some point. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Which one do you guys want to see more of? Do you want to see us do more with the Subaru or do you want to see more with that car? That car's got a lot of cool stuff to it and it'd be really fun to get it going, but I got a feeling some of the parts off of it are going to be needed to mock up and do everything with that. So, I don't know. It'll be uh, a lot of as we go with all of these projects as it seems to be. But let me know what you guys think in the comments and make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button and we'll check you out on the next one.